interesting thing with private equity is that there's more ways that you can make money. Number one is you can buy businesses with a much wider range. Like a house isn't going to go for sale for a dollar, but businesses do sometimes get given away for free. For more. We just did this. So our current property, Douglas Forest, we bought it for no money down, 100% owner financing. So this is not just an example that's kind of like pie in the sky. Maybe this could happen. Danger, we're only paying 30%. I think it's even less. It's like 20% over a K River. So there you're not you're not paying a huge amount for these companies. And what we're buying, we keep saying we're buying real estate. Well, we're buying a business that owns some real estate also. For the last. And that's also because there's no debt. A lot of times people buy houses, they have debt that they have to pay back. And that kind of fixes pretty hardcore where people's kind of bottom is. They're like, well, I'm not going to lose money on my house. Like, fine, I won't make money, but you have to at least pay the bank back. Of course, the market still dictates prices, but I think there's still a, a strong line that people will hold in negotiation, which slows down uh, crashes in real estate. Whereas a business can go from being not valuable at all to 12 months later being worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Let's say it's a technology or let's say it's a patent that goes through it or some sort of pharmaceutical thing that 